Hello everyone uh, and welcome. My name is Adriana Chalmare. I am the project librarian for the Museum of the Order of St. John in London. And today I'm going to give a short presentation about our online exhibition of rare books and manuscripts from the Museum Historic Library. To begin with, uh, I will say a few things about the Historic Library in general and its collections. The Historic Library, currently housed in the West Tower of the Museum of St. John, is a collection of approximately 1,200 volumes, comprising both printed books and manuscripts. The library holdings range in date from the 15th century up to the early 1900s. The main focus of the collection is documenting the history of the Knights Hospitaller and of the Order of St. John, with a particular emphasis on the foundation of the order in England. However, the collections are quite diverse and they cover other topics such as the Crusades, the history of the military and religious orders in Europe, various topics on heraldry, genealogy, geography, numismatics and others. In October 2019, thanks to a generous donation that we received from a museum supporter, we were able to begin an inventory and cataloging project of the historic library collections. This project is still ongoing at the moment, April, end of April 2021. However, all the materials in the library now have a bibliographic rec record present on the online catalog. And in order to promote these recently catalogued collections, we put together a virtual exhibition displaying several special and unique items from the historic library. This exhibition is available on the museum website under the collection section with the title 2021 Virtual Book Exhibition. Next, I'm going to talk a little bit about each of the items that we included in the exhibition, and I will try to highlight some of the relevant aspects of these materials. The first volume in the display is a French 17th century illuminated manuscripts produced and written on vellum. The manuscript describes the ceremony of joining the Order of St. John of Jerusalem in France and it is beautifully illustrated with 19 large watercolors depicting all the stages of the profession ceremony. As an example, we can see on the left side of the slide an image from this manuscript. As you can see in this slide, the image is enclosed within double gilt borders and the text is decorated with beautiful illuminated initials. At the end of this volume, there are several leaves which contain pen and ink drawings of galleys and ships, as well as a colored map of Malta and Gozo. The manuscript is bound in cuff, decorated with small gold stamped fleur de lis in the corners. And in the images provided in the slide, we can see the pen and ink drawings, as well as the map of Malta and Gozo, and the binding of this volume. On the front page down of the book, which is the inside of the front cover, there are several inscriptions in French which point to the identity of the former owners of this manuscript. The first inscription names Guillaume de Maux, Seigneur de Boisvaudran and Grand Prior of the Order of St. John in France, as the first owner of this volume. And we can see in one of the images on the left side the beautiful coat of arms of Guillaume de Maux, drawn on a vellum leaf inserted at the beginning of this volume. From our records, we know that this copy was purchased for the Order of St. John in 1934 from booksellers Davies and Orioli in London, with funds that were provided by Sir Charles Hyde, a philanthropist from Birmingham. The second item in our exhibition is a volume written in Latin which contained of, contains the first illustrated edition of the Statutes of the Order of St. John of Jerusalem. This volume, entitled Stabilimenta Militum Hero Solimitanorum, is an incunable, which means is a book that has been printed before the year 1500, and it is one of the oldest printed volumes from the historic library. 
it was produced, this edition was produced and published in the city of Ulm, Germany, in the year 1496 by the printer Johann Reger, and it followed the publication of two earlier editions of the statutes, which had appeared a year before, one in Venice and the other one in Paris. The author of the work, of the work is Guillaume Carassin, who was Vice-Chancellor of Rhodes and Secretary to the Grand Master of the Order of St. John. He prepared the publication of the Order's statutes by compiling and editing the rules existing in manuscripts from the 14th and the 15th century. The volume is beautifully illustrated with 20 full-page woodcuts depicting the history, ceremonies, regalia and offices of the Order of St. John, and there is also one small cut of the arms of Grand Master Pierre de Bousson. The large woodcuts were executed by an anonymous artist known as the Master of the Cao Sang, and they are unique to this edition. And we can see on the left side of this slide an, an example of such a woodcut. The copy in the historic library has been bound in German calf blind stamped in various designs over oak boards. The paste downs of the binding are made from a 15th century vellum manuscript which has been rubricated in red ink and is an image of this paste downs is available on this slide. The incunable was acquired for the Order of St. John in England in November 1950 with funds partially donated by Mrs. Mann Stewart, a lady of grace for, uh, for the order. The third item selected for our online exhibition is a book of poetic praises presented to the Portuguese nobleman Antonio Manuel Viena on his election as, of his Grand Master of the Order of St. John of Jerusalem in 1722. This was the first and only edition of the work, and it contained various laudatory poems in Italian, Latin, French, and Greek, written by various authors. The volume was edited by Ettore Maruli, a knight of the Order of St. John from Italy, and was published in Naples in 1723. The copy in St. John Museum was specifically bound for Antonio Vienna himself. We know this because his coat of arms can be seen gold stamp on the front cover of the volume. In the 19th century, the copy was owned according to an inscription present at the beginning of this volume. The copy was owned by Fra Calcedonio Tona, who was rector of the Lee's Church in Valletta and a member of the Order of St. John on the island of Malta. We know from this letter, that in 1858, Fra Tona donated the volume to Sir John Gaspard Le Marchand, a British army officer who had recently been appointed governor of Malta. Through this gift, Fra Tona was expressing his gratitude and appreciation for the governor's decision to move the statue of Antonio Manuel de Vienna from Fort Manuel to a more prominent public space, which was the center of Queen Square in Valletta. This volume was bequeathed to the Museum of the Order of St. John by Harold, Baron Harold Caccia, a British diplomat and Lord Prior of the Order of St. John in England. The next item in our exhibition is a warrant appointing the Empress Elizabeth Emily of Austria, also known by her nickname Empress Sissi, to be a dumb grand cross of the Order of St. John of Jerusalem. And we have an image of this warrant on the top left side of the screen. As you can see, the warrant is written on a large folio sheet, decorated with an ornamental border of floral and arabesque motifs and the Maltese cross at the top. It is dated May 17, 1873, and endorsed on the back as being registered among the acts of delegation of the Sovereign Order of St. John of Jerusalem in Vienna. The authentication of the vault of this document is provided by the signature of Chevalier de Langer, Conseiller de Legation et Chargé d'Affaires, and also by a stamp and a lead and seal of the order, which we can see in the image on the left side. The warrant is accompanied by a letter written by Fra Giovanni Battista Cesci, who is Lieutenant of the Order of St. John. In this letter, Fra Giovanni Cesci informs the Empress that her name has been placed at the head of the Dam Grand Cross of the Order of St. John of Jerusalem 
and he asks for the honor of her acceptance of the insignia. The letter is enclosed in an envelope, which was sealed with a red wax seal, and addressed to Sa Majesté l'Imperatrice Irene. And we can actually see an image of this envelope with the seal on the left side of the slide. Both the warrant and the letter are housed in a red Morocco folder, which bears the insignia of the order Silver Eight-Pointed Cross. And in, on the inside of this folder, there is a small book label of Empress Elizabeth Emily. The fifth item in our exhibition is a unique 19th century manuscript entitled A Pilgrimage to the Pig and Peas. The author of the manuscript, Theodosius Perland, was a dentist, literary collector and antiquary from London who liked to compile scrapbooks on various subjects. The manuscript gives an, gives an account of various pilgrimages taken by the author and his friends to historical places in London, such as the Tower of London, St. John's Gate, the Pig and Peas, a tavern on Fenchurch Street, the Charter House, and others. The unique title of the manuscript was inspired by a visit to historic pub on Fenchurch Street, known as the King's Head, where Princess Elizabeth is said to have dined of pork and peas after her release from the Tower of London on May 19, 1554. In memory of Elizabeth's visit, the King's Head Tavern instituted an annual, an annual tradition of serving pork and peas to customers on the 17th of November, which is the anniversary of Elizabeth's accession to the throne as queen. This festival is described by the author in the manuscript, and an engraved image of Queen Elizabeth can be seen on the first leaf of the volume, which is also reproduced in the image on this slide. Other illustrations in the manuscript include old and scarce engravings of views of London, portraits, autograph letters, and others. The next material included in our exhibition is another manuscript, this time an Italian manuscript, describing the joint exhibition organized by Pope Clement IX, France and the Knights of Malta in 1669, with the purpose of relieving Candia on the island of Crete from the, the Ottoman Empire. As the title page suggests, the title page is reproduced in the image on this slide, the expedition was led by Vincenzo Rospigliosi, who was commander of the Order of Malta and Admiral of the Fleet. He was also the nephew of Pope Clement IX. The manuscript is written in a cursive and calligraphic hand throughout, and it contains a beautiful watercolor plan of the relief of Candia by the fleet. The binding is made of contemporary Italian vellum, gold stamped with Cardinal Altieri's coat of arms on both covers and decorated with stars, which was the heraldic symbol of the Altieri family, and also with foliage motifs. The last item in our exhibition is a small volume published in Messina in 1631 in Italy. The copy in the museum library is particularly interesting because it is a rare example of a 17th century printed book that has been illuminated with gold leaf on the title page and also in the dedication statement. Il Pianto d'Arethusa was written by the Italian poet and politician Bernardino Martirano and it retells the myth of Arethusa through a poem in 154 stanzas. The edition was dedicated to Fra Francesco Bisagni, an erudit nobleman who was also knight of the Order of St. John from Messina. The dedication page is also illuminated and the first initial is historiated and decorated with gilt on an azure background. And we can actually see an image on the, of the title page in this slide. Unfortunately, there are no provenance marks in this volume, so we do not know who owned it throughout the centuries or who illuminated or how the volume arrived at the Museum of St. John in London. And this has been our presentation for today. We hope you enjoy it. And uh, we, for more information and details about the items included in the exhibition, we invite you to visit the 2021 virtual book exhibition available online on the museum website at the link provided in this slide. Thank you for your attention and have a good day. Bye bye.